and I'm strolling, strolling, strolling with my little ones. We've been for a long stroll. There's Annabelle. I just took her out from under this so that you could have a nice little peek. And Brooksy, fingers crossed, stays asleep for a little bit longer. Normally, I don't like him to sleep in the pram like this, right? But um, he just happened to fall asleep and I needed a break. And that probably means you won't sleep later this afternoon. You know how that goes, trying to juggle all of that. So quick update on the six-week challenge. So you girls are doing amazing. We are over four weeks in. We're in week five of the exercises and the workouts. And I have a few new things that you may recognize in your library that will also be in our next six-week challenge, which starts September the 6th. As I'm rebuilding my body back and you are doing the same. You're coming on the journey with me, and I thank you so much because, girls, you are totally keeping me motivated. So what we have new that you'll notice in week five, and we'll, again, we'll be in our next six-week challenge, is everyday abs exercises. So these are little tiny movements. They're only going to take you three minutes a day that are going to help you to flatten your tummy and my tummy out after having babies. These are also prenatal-friendly exercises as long as you take the modifications if I say that there's a modification that needs to be taken. In fact, these are the exercises we talk about all the time that help to zip our tummies flat, help to um, decrease toxins, help us to be in the rest and digest phase instead of the fight or flight phase, um, decrease back pain, in, improve your pelvic floor function, you name it. <laughs> They're great, and it's three minutes a day. So it's just something that you ought to try to stick to. If you can do it Monday through Friday, three minutes a day, it's 15 minutes total. If you do it, do them seven days a week, um, 21 minutes of your week. Can you handle it? Can you hang? I think you can. These are exercises you can do as part of your warm up or cool down if you feel like before or after our workouts. Um, you can do them in the morning when you wake up in the morning. You can do them before you go to bed at night. They're not exercises that are going to make you sweaty, they're tiny movements. But they are mighty movements, girlfriend. Also, I wanted to let you know, this week, we don't have any giveaways this week because I want you to get your mind right. You see me? I see you. I want you to start thinking about what you're going to do. Creativity points are going to be part of the giveaway this time. So I'm going to be asking you once again to upload your pictures to the portal and also here to this private Facebook group that some of you are watching this video on. Um, but um, I want you to be doing fun things with your little one if they're around of course make sure they're in a safe environment um i want you to get your partner involved potentially or maybe your partner can shoot the video for you um you can shoot some testimonials talking about what's been working for you maybe it's the private facebook group that's been keeping you motivated maybe it's this gorgeous backdrop that's been keeping you motivated maybe it's that uh, you can do it any time in their short workouts. They're 30 minutes or less. Or maybe it's because, you know, you're in safe hands with me because I'm a prenatal and postnatal corrective exercise specialist. I have a diastasis and core consultant certification and numerous other ones to keep you safe and to keep me safe in the process. Who knows, whatever the things are, but I want to hear from you. I want more of this, more you and me girl time, because I think that's what keeps us inspired, keeps us strong and keeps us as one, I think that's really unique about Strong Sexy Mamas that we are all going through this together. The girls that you see in the videos with me, my talent, and thank you to all of you who are my talent, but you're real moms. You're not private fitness trainers that spend hours a day working on your bodies. And no, you've got maybe 30 minutes to spare. Your priority is your family and yourself, of course. You've got to practice this self care. But um, we're going through the same things, whether it's trying to get our kids to sleep or worrying about feeding or. Maybe you're one of my pregnant mamas who um, just wants to do everything right and set themselves up for the best possible outcomes that they can control with their labor and birth experiences or their fourth trimester or rebuilding their body back brick by brick like me. But girls, thank you so much. Um, so once again, no giveaways this week because I want you to start thinking, you can even start shooting some videos that I'll be asking you to upload to the private Facebook group and to the portal next week some big giveaways, including private training sessions with moi, um, which is also going to be a new offering coming up soon. I'm working out the details for that. Um, but on Strong Sexy Mamas, I will be doing some one-on-one -on -one trainings as well via Zoom. So stay tuned for that. It will be part of um, a big package. So anyway, thanks again. And cross your fingers for me that these little guys will sleep a little bit longer so I can enjoy the sunshine a little bit more.
All right, girls, don't lose steam. If you're one of my moms who's fallen off the bandwagon, you just get back on, girlfriend. You can also check us out on September 6th when we start the next six-week challenge. But I really want you to get back on the horse 20, 30 minutes a day. I don't have to tell you how good it's going to make you feel. It will make you feel great. Just make time for it. You can do it. And don't beat yourself up about it if you fell off the wagon. Don't beat yourself up. I'm not the fitness police. I'm not the nutrition police. I'm just trying to help you set yourself up for success, long-term success, and attainable fitness and nutrition habits, right?